Hello, race fans. I'm Joe Lusk, and iRacing got a new dirt track. So we're going to take a look at it, see what this place is all about. So the new track is Kokomo Speedway. Kokomo Speedway is a one quarter mile track that was built originally for midget cars, but over the years has served a number of purposes. This track won an online vote from iRacing to be put in the game for the next dirt track, and it beat out a couple of other famous tracks. Kokomo is a very small track. It's flat on the bottom half, and then up towards the wall, there's a bit of banking. So let's get on track and see what makes this place tick. So we're heading on track with the 360 Sprint car, and immediately you can see that the bottom half of the track is very, very flat, almost off camber. Uh, and you can see that the top side of the track, as we head up the track, just has a huge amount of banking up here. And it really is a track where you can run the wall. So we're racing here in the evening, that's what this session is. And I set the track to, I think, 50 or 60% usage. Uh, so the track is pretty used up, um, and, and the high side you can see has gone away rather quickly with this this dark stuff up here towards the wall. So I've done a couple of laps here already and I kinda know how it goes. So let's let's talk about this place while we get up to speed here. So immediately you can see that the car wants to head up the track. And once you get up the track you can point down the track and get off the wall, which I really like, uh, and it makes it interesting for passing. I, I did a race here, actually, in the late model, and it was pretty interesting. Difficult to pass, for sure, but it feels like people don't really use the high side like they should. A lot of people are on the top and just flooring the car, hoping it's going to stick, where if you lift when it starts to dry out, you can really get your car through the corner and straight and keep that speed and momentum going from the straightaway. So as you can see, the high side is, is pretty banked and pretty quick. The bottom side here is almost off camber on the inside. And when you're in any of the late models or the modified, it feels like that left front tire really wants to lift off the ground. And it kind of hurts your, your momentum on the bottom side. So I feel like it's kind of a one-lane track unless you really set the car up to run the bottom. But then you're going to limit yourself, especially if everybody's running the top and you can't get out of your own way. Now the sprint car, I don't know. I haven't done a race in it yet, but in wingless, it seems like you can kind of run both lanes of the track and still be pretty quick. But yeah, so that's a little bit of an overview of the surface. And one thing I do want to point out in one and two, as you get into a race, right here, right where my car is sitting right there, right back there, there is this dry spot that forms all the way out to the wall. And if you're driving and you go into the corner with a little bit too much speed, you can just slide up and get collected in that wall and it'll really hurt your run. So be careful in one and two. You really can't go all out in one and two because you gotta be mindful of that dry spot that forms kind of closer to the exit in turn two. Uh, but in three and four, you can kind of drive it pretty hard. However, on exit, uh, in turns three and four, like in turn four, you really can't drive out towards the wall. And, and I'll put it to you this way, it's as if the track kind of tightens up on you and that wall really creeps in. So you kind of have to drive the car a little bit off the wall in three and four per se. So you gotta enter in a little bit higher and kind of keep the car rotated down and then kind of point it towards the straightaway and keep it off the wall. That's what I've found to be the fastest. Uh, and I, I have done a couple of events here. so. That's kind of the lay of the land here at Kokomo. It's got this banking up towards the wall that you can really run off of. And if you really wanted to, you could get real close up there, but you just gotta be careful in four that, that the corner doesn't tighten up on you, and one and two, that dry spot can really ruin your day. So 
uh, be mindful of those two places, but yeah, this is a place that you can really learn how to run the high side, and it's kind of like Lima Land in that respect. However, Lima Land has a bit more banking across the whole track, where this is just flat and then it's got the banking on the exit. So Kokomo Speedway rolled out with the Season 4 update for iRacing in 2018. So, there's a Week 13 series dedicated to this track with the midget car called the Week 13 Midget Series at Kokomo. <laughs> One hilarious problem with this track, or at least with that series, it uses standing starts in midget cars. This is absolutely hilarious and definitely not intended. Uh, I was in a race and every single car in one heat race jumped the start because nobody knew what the lights meant. They didn't know that you have to wait. So it was very funny and everybody did one lap and then came down pit road. So uh, yeah, be mindful of that if you try it out in the week 13 series or you could try it in a hosted session. They don't count and neither does the week 13 series. So no harm done. You all get black flag. Oh, I know, I know. <laughs> so that has been a little bit about Kokomo Speedway, the newest addition to iRacing's dirt. And I am very happy with this track so far. Uh, I have no real big issues with it. It's just, um, it kind of is one lane as far as I've seen. And, uh, uh, you gotta really dive bomb it in there if you're gonna make a pass on somebody who's as fast as you. So thank you guys for checking out this video and checking out my channel. We have been steadily growing and I can't even believe I'm at 2200 subs. Thank you guys so much for your support. And I will be racing here tomorrow. That is Friday. Uh, and we will be vlogging and doing all that stuff. And also, I have a new video game that I will be doing a review of here very shortly. So anyway, I'll see you guys later. Take care and thanks again.